Hey, welcome to this tutorial. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to deploy your Lavable project for free on Netlify. To start, get started, we shall begin by creating a GitHub account. This is where you will be deploying your project. So you shall sign up for a free account on GitHub. Then we shall have to verify our account. So after signing up for a GitHub account, you will see something like this. Our next step is to create a Netlify, a Netlify account. So we shall skip this step for now. So after that, we shall have uh, something like this. So we have finished creating our GitHub account as well as a, Net a Netlify account. Those are the two accounts that we need. Now let's go to Lovable, where we are going to, dis to deploy our project from. Now what I'm going to use are some of the templates that are available. So I'm going to choose this one. It's what I'm going to deploy. So I'm going to click here, start building. So this is the project that I've clicked on. Now the first thing we are going to do is connect to our GitHub account. So we shall come on this button here, on GitHub. Then we shall click on it. And then we go here down and click on to uh, connect to GitHub. Then we shall get this model. Here we're going to say authorize and install. So we shall click on it. So we have our project here, we are seeing it has been connected to, to GitHub and this is our username. So when you when we click on the username, I've clicked on the username, so we shall get this um, uh, URL, which we, we can use to clone our project in VS Code. Now that's for, de for developers, for you. you, don't need to know this. So after connecting our project to, to GitHub, then we shall go to, we shall have to rename our project to, to something that makes more sense so we shall click here and then go to rename you can type in something like a suman let's just call it a suman then i shall rename this project now there's another step that you have to do now we are going to write one prompt which is going to help us add a file that is necessary for us uh, for our projects to be displayed on Netlify. So we shall type here and say, create a netlify.toml file with the the following content so i'm going to add this all this in the description below so we shall have to ask lovable to create this file in our project so as so to enable us to deploy this project to netlify so after that we shall just click enter So this confirms, so this shows that our file has been added. Now to confirm this, we shall have to first refresh 
here. Then you click on this icon here, the code viewer. As you can see, the file has been created. And when we click on it, you see that all the info that we gave has been added. Now, after doing that, we are going to go to Netlify and then deploy our project. So we shall come back to Netlify. Then you, you, you're supposed to make sure that you're in the folder for sites. And then after that, you come here to import from Git, import an, ex an existing project. You click here. Then we are going to click on GitHub. Then we have to authorize um, Netlify to access our GitHub account. So I'll, I'll click authorize Netlify. Then we shall do a couple of settings. Let's just say all repositories. Then we click install. So as you see, um, we are, as you see here in our, our repository, we only have one project. But for those who already have other other projects in their account, there will be several. And there's also here an option to search. That is in case you have more than one project. In case you have more than one project, there is an option to search for that project. But for our case, since our account is new, we are going to have only one project, and that is Asman. Now, this Asman comes from the name we gave our project here. So this is what you search when you come to Netlify. So we are going to, because they are saying, let's, disp let's deploy our project with, they're saying, let's deploy our project with. So you are going to select um, the project name we gave, we wrote here. That's, that's what we are going to select. So I'll click on this. Um, so then we shall continue here. Now, when you come to this text here, publish directory, I want you to cut this and remove it. Once again, when you reach this step, I want you to come here on publish, direct, on publish directory and then you remove it. After that, you come down and then click this button, deploy as man, so as to deploy our project. Then after that, you see this sign here, which is showing uh, building. Um, so you are building our projects to be deployed. While doing this, you cannot access the project, but after a few minutes, um, we shall be able to get a successful deploy if everything is right. Now, they are saying our deploy is successful. So this notification here, this um, badge of published shows that our project has been successfully published. There's an error, red, then it means something wrong has occurred. Now, the next question would be, how do you access your project? So you're going to come up here, and then you see this link. But this link doesn't make sense, so you might want to uh, rename to rename uh, this link so as to get something which makes sense. So you just come to set configuration, and then come here and click on change site name. So you shall give it, you shall say as man. So now this is the link where you're going to access your project. This is the link where you're going to access your project de deployed on Netlify. So you can click save. If you want, you can come back here on configuration for your project and then right click and then copy link address now let's open 
this link in a new tab and see if our project was deployed. So let's paste the link and click enter. There you go. So we have successfully deployed our project for free on Netlify. Now one thing is remaining. If you want to connect a custom domain, because this domain is uh, attached to Netlify, if you want a custom one, you have to go back to Netlify. After coming to the to the home, you come to site overview and then move down to add set up a custom domain step number two so you have two options you can buy a domain from netlify or you can add a domain that you've registered uh, from somewhere else like namecheap so if you already have a domain you can click here and then you add your domain and then after verification and setting up everything you can connect your custom domain to the uh, to netlify instead of displaying um asman.netlify it will be showing your custom domain uh, if you can't if you can if you need someone to set this up for you you can always reach out to me i have my contacts in the description However, now there's something you need to know. If you always want to change the repository where your uh, domain is connected, for example, you have another project that you want to connect on GitHub, click on deploys, go to deploy settings. On deploy settings, you will see manage repository, click on it, and then click on link to a different repository then you continue with github then here since we have only one project created you can always uh, select a different project that, where you want to connect then after that you continue with the steps that we uh, did previously now one thing you have to note is that anytime you make changes to your project here so we can say let's edit this Let's change this color to, to red and also change the font size to something small. Then we save. So any changes saved, they will be automatically reflected in the uh, site you have deployed. So when you come here and we refresh, so as you can see, um, our changes have been reflected without being anything. So anytime we change, after some time, sometimes it can take a bit longer, like a few minutes, but after some time, you should always see the changes. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, if you liked this video, uh, give me a like and don't forget to subscribe because I always share information like this.